Hey there y'all, welcome to my channel, Elastine Beauty. Today I wanted to make more of a lifestyle type video and just give y'all some tips for studying, especially when it comes to college or taking online classes. Um, a lot of these will still apply to high schoolers as well. I'm currently in a place where I'm only taking one class on campus and then all my other classes are online, a total of five classes, but it's only 11 hours. Two of my classes are one hour courses, but I still stay extremely busy with the courses that I'm taking. Um, online classes can be a little bit different. I feel like you have to be much more structured and organized and know your weekly assignments. Like, you have to know your weekly assignments. The other day in my class, we watched a video of Denzel Washington giving a speech. I wanted to share one of his quotes because I feel like this is so true. And the quote is, we do not plan to fail, but we fail to plan. And that is how I feel about online classes. If I'm not planning out what my weekly schedule is going to look like, I'm most likely going to miss an assignment. I will be very honest with you. I already missed one assignment and I've o I'm only two weeks into school. Thankfully, I emailed my professor and he said that I can still do it for partial credit. But nevertheless, I already missed an assignment. This shows the importance of organization because I messed up on writing something in my planner. And when you're busy, it's especially important to keep track of your schedule. So another tip that I have is to look into audiobooks. Um, for one of my classes, I decided to get an audiobook for one of my required reads, and that has actually helped me a lot more than I expected because I tend to not be an audible learner. It's a really interesting book, and so I think that helps a lot. Um, because I'm in Bible college, some of my books are not like textbooks, but they're like so an example of one of my books for Bible College, this was for, from last semester, but it's like, it's a smaller read and it's, it's different than a textbook, you know? I, just an example of something that I would get as an audiobook. Helpful and that's something that you can use when you're in the car or when you're on a walk or on a run, exercising. It's a way for you to still be learning and getting some of your homework done while multitasking and doing other things. Another recommendation that I would have, especially if you're a visual learner, is to actually read your material out loud. Um, and then along the way, highlight, underline, use different colors, make the material kind of more vibrant and more fun um, with the use of like markers and pens and all of that fun stuff. Also, Quizlet is an amazing tool as well. You can go online and make flashcards and then you can play fun games with your material. And it's possible that someone has already made flashcards actually for the material that you're studying as well. So that's really cool when that happens. Another tip that I would have has to do with the environment that you're studying in. So maybe sometimes you need to be in your room where it's quiet so you can do some reading, but maybe you need to change the environment to maybe boost up your energy some or make studying a bit more enjoyable, which is something that, something that I have to do at times is that I'll study in my room for an hour, hour and a half, two hours and then maybe I'll go to a coffee shop. It's just something about a change of scenery really like boost my mood and like boost my energy and it helps me study better. Also something that you can do is to plan out how you're going to study, especially if there's one day that you just need to do a ton of studying. Set aside time to do things in between study sessions. So maybe you'll study for 30 minutes and then you'll go for a walk and then you'll study for 30 minutes and then you'll do some laundry. You'll study for 30 minutes and then you'll have a snack or a meal. Just kind of separate your studying from other things so that it keeps you going and it, it's kind of another way of kind of boosting your mood and boosting your energy and I find that that also helps me a lot as well. I'm not someone that really enjoys sitting still for a really long time. It's really helpful when I do it that way. I think overall, it's a matter of finding a way for you to study that is less stressful. When I feel less stressed, the learning experience is much more enjoyable and it makes me actually like learning new things. I think it's easy to get caught up in a routine of stressing out and studying and then it makes us hate studying and learning and that's not what it should look like for us. We should actually enjoy learning and growing and understanding more and increasing our knowledge. So I think that wraps up everything that I have to share with y'all today. Those are just some of the things that I've done personally that has helped me in my studying and comprehension of material. Thanks again for watching. I love you all so much. Have a blessed day and remember that your worth is far above rubies. Bye y'all.